What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, good to be back, happy Monday. So we got some pretty good news stories, let's go ahead and knock these out the park and uh, get on about our day. So the first story that we have for you guys today obviously is involving Returnal. Now we talked about this on Friday, RGT Podcast, awesome show, go check it out, let me know what you guys think about the new changes to the podcast, I definitely appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and get into uh, Returnal. Returnal has been delayed to April 30th, now this right here actually caught me off a little bit to be honest with you because the game already looked fine it looked finished but i'm guessing they either had issues or they want to push it to a better month when they feel comfortable with this said game now you guys already know returnal and how i feel about it i even said this on friday um the game looks great but i don't really know much about it and this is where you guys hopefully can come in and fill me in because i don't really know much about the story about this game i don't really know what else this game is really about i've seen a lot of gameplay of it game looks very visually impactful i love the particle effects all that looks good Looks like a really, really good game. Looks like they really perfected their craft uh, that they did, you know, courtesy of Resogun, right? It looks like they legit stepped it up, and I do appreciate that next level of attention. But that's really it. I don't really know much about Returnal, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below, all right? So, April 30th. Now, until then, we have games like Deathloop, which I am actually looking forward to, but I haven't really uh, looked into that for a minute. But we do have um, games like that to look forward to all right another update we have is for gran turismo 7 that's right gran turismo 7 will be more like the classic gran turismo titles says the actual developer of the game so it's going to be like the original which is cool sony definitely needs this now obviously they're not rushing this you guys already know and granted neither is microsoft because microsoft didn't even have their forts ready for the xbox series x so that was unfortunate as well for them so they're definitely taking their times on these said games but you guys already know we're gran turismo Turismo. last time we talked about Gran Turismo they were talking about like 8k insane like details in the cars and they were able to replicate that in the game now, obviously I'm not talking about 8k resolution I'm just saying the cars look so good it was like 8k rendered that's what I'm trying to say here so that was pretty cool so hopefully we'll get more info on this very very soon and you guys can see Gran Turismo um, sooner rather than later all right now let's get into MLB the show 21 now we already knew that this game was going to be on Xbox after last year involving the license with PlayStation and I think the actual developer or yeah or the actual team if I remember correctly so this was going to be on Xbox uh, the next one at, at least and now we're here with the next one the next one was officially shown we saw the actual box art we saw the Xbox box art um, I mean I'm not really an MLB the, uh, MLB the Show fan, so I can't really comment on the game. Maybe you guys are. But uh, it was interesting seeing the PlayStation uh, Studios logo on a Xbox green case for once. That was actually interesting. In fact, I don't know about you guys, and maybe I'm just looking at this a little too uh, crazy, right? But when I saw this, you know what I thought of? I immediately thought of Xbox Game Studios, where we saw... Um, all their games on PC. And I'm not saying, obviously, you know, Sony's going the same route. I, I want to get that loud and clear. I'm not saying Sony's going the same route, but I just got that vibe where I saw a PlayStation Studios logo on an Xbox said game. I was like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, just, I just got that vibe. But anyway, there's that. Uh, for those of you that want to update for this particular game, unfortunately, you will not get a free next-gen upgrade if you buy the PlayStation 4 version of this game at all. So for those of you that really want that, you know, that probably want to buy it right now in hopes of getting a next-gen free upgrade, the answer is no. You will not be getting that at all. So if you want the PS5 version, if you want the PlayStation 5 experience, then it's best you get yourself a PS5 if you don't have one and then secure the game after you bought the said console. I'm just saying. So there you guys go. There's the info right there. Uh, we got some big news. This is the best news, honestly, in my honest opinion, for PlayStation right now involving God of War. God of War 2018 will be getting a big patch tomorrow. And in tomorrow's patch, they're going to be giving you 4K at 60 FPS. Now, uh, it's going to be checkerboard. Let me go ahead and put that out there. It's checkerboard 4K, all right? But they're also going to give you the PS4 um, Pro mode as well. So that's going to be 4K as well at 30 FPS. Yeah, so they're giving you both modes for the game um you know cool cool i'm actually cool with that game was already amazing as it was and i might actually play through it again i don't know let me know what you guys be interested in the comment section below if i actually was to play through that again live for you guys on the channel i've been doing a lot of streaming as of late and uh, i've been having a blast with you guys so let me know if you guys would be interested all right 
anyway that is the quick news update for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video quick to the point let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching this is big cloud gaming i am most certainly out of here and i'll catch you awesome individuals tomorrow you guys be blessed later